Dear friends, we are in Dhammapada, stanza number 213. Pemato jayati soko, pemato jayati bayam. Pemato vipamutasa, natti soko kuto bayam. Brief meaning of this stanza is from affections springs grief. From affections springs fear. For him who is wholly free from affections, there is no grief, much less fear. All these stanzas in Piyavagga explaining, giving knowledge and experience for us origin of fear, origin of suffering or unsatisfaction. Same as previous stanza has. This stanza is talking about another way how we develop our attachment, keeping hindrances and tendencies which is related to greed and ignorance. Pematu jayati soko. There is a word in Pali, prema. Prema is the word that we use in Pali to explain the relationship that we have with others likewise. Parents and children, they have their relationship, that relationship, the bondages are making by prema, love. Brothers and sisters have bondage because of love. Friends, they have relationship as, as a friends, as, as friends, the secret, the hidden thing is love. Around the world, all human beings are connecting together, interacted together because of love. The word in Pali that we use for love, prema, prema. Prema to jayati soko, when then, because of that uh, affection, we have some kind of thoughts regarding attraction. We are attracted to other relationship and people because of our affection, love. So then we like to live with them. We like to keep with them. We like to keep them with us. We like to stay with them. We like to associate them. We, are, we like to work. We like to stay day and night with them. Who don't want to stay with their parents? Who don't want to stay with their children? Who don't want to stay with, with their siblings? Who don't want to stay with their friends? No one. Everybody likes to stay with their parents. Everybody likes to stay with their children, brothers and sisters, particularly with the loved one. But according to the world in nature, it's not going to happen. Pyevipayogo dukko in Dhammachakka Pavatana Sutta and many other discourses are explaining how we how, how suffering is occurring in our mind. One reason, Pyevipayogo departing from loved one. You have to separate from loved one in one day. We don't know when, how it's happening. So, soka, suffering is there. Pain is there, unsatisfaction is there. 
because that attachment have a bondage binding with others through love. Love is directly connect with ignorance and particularly with desire. Now you can see desire is there and also ignorance is there. So these two things are together. It is dangerous. It is the reasons to have fire. Agikandopama Sutta in Majjamani Kaya, fire sermon, the Buddha said, Eye is burning, ear is burning, nose is burning, tongue is burning, whole body is burning, mind also burning. burning. How? Because whatever the pictures that you're going to see through your eyes, if it is with connected with your ignorance and desire, fire is there, is burning. Whatever the thoughts that you have in your mind, which is connected with ignorance and greed, fire is there. So because of this ignorance and desire or greed, you ready to take some part as acceptable part, or oh, I like this, I, like, I want to keep. Or oh, there are something I don't like. I want to take any of these things because I don't like. You are rejecting, accepting and rejecting. This happening because of that nature. So, according to Dhammachakka Pavatana Sutta, Pisampa Yogo. But even though you don't like to associate them or those things, but those things and them are here with us. In this world, that's the nature of the universe. No one can avoid, no one can escape that. How long all these unhappy things are there with you, you have unhappy, unhappy thoughts. You, you are suffering, you have lack of happiness because uh, uh, I don't want to be with them. I don't want to keep that things with me. You don't like it. Why? Because you, you have greed and ignorance. Both, the, both thoughts are there, roots are there. Now you can see, Pemato, the loving thoughts are coming through that. If loving thoughts are coming through that, ignorance and desire or greed, then it's make suffering. It's make suffering. It is very... Uh, simple to understand for everybody. If you are attached to something or someone, but those that things or those things are not existing as we wish, it's changing, it's supposed to change, it's a changing. So then we have unhappy thoughts, we are ready to gain our, we generate our unhappy thoughts in our mind. Why? It is related to your desire and ignorance. These two roots are very important in our life. This is the path for our unhappy stages in our mind. Whatever the unhappy situations are, they arise in our mind. This is the reason, direct reason. That is greed and ignorance. What about anger? Anger also they are, wherever these two things are together, then anger also there. But anger appear in different ways and appear and disappear. Anger. Sometimes you can't see anger. You have attachment, you have desire, but you can't see anger. But anger also they are with these two things. It is these three things are always together. They are very good friends. They are uh, ready to depart. If someone departing from your mind, then others also supposed to depart. Just think about uh, if you are gaining wisdom as a result of that wisdom, 
ignorance is going away from your mind whenever ignorance is going away from your mind then you don't have greed when you when you are free from greed and ignorance then you don't have any anger you are free from anger all these things are happening together so therefore desire ignorance and hatred all these three thoughts are working together staying together departing together it is the nature so therefore now we have to keep something in our mind uh, to uh, see the roots in here pemato jayati soko what is the reasons to have some uh, pain mental pain uh, unhappy thoughts and satisfaction premato affections springs grief premato jayati by not only suffering pain even though fear is arising with the help of uh, affections or love attachment bondages so th- then what what we should do this is if this is the nature for unhappy situation unhappy stages then what we should do pemato vippamutta so we have to work for what to free from all affections to free from all these defilements then natti soko kuto bayang when you don't have any suffering then what is the reasons to have fear there when you eliminate all suffering what is the reasons to have uh, fear you don't have fear when you eliminate all the all unhappy thoughts and satisfaction from your mind there is no reasons to have fear so what is our responsibility what is our ambitions that we should develop what is duty what is the responsibility that we should do as as a practitioner particularly with buddhist practitioner pemato vippamuttas free from affections is our uh, desire uh, that should be our goal for our life our ambitions should be to be free from affections that is our ambitions that is our ambitions that is our goal that is the eternal one and only thoughts as a buddhist practitioner that you should keep in your mind pemato vipamutta sa why when you able to live without attachment bondages greed hatred and ignorance natte soko you don't have any painful situation kuto bayang when you are free from all the suffering and pain what about the fear fear also will disappear from your mind how would be that kind of nature of our mind if we are able to generate how would be very serene very peaceful happiness always with us we don't have fear we don't suffer then all these things happening in your mind not your in physical body this is the nature of enlightenment this is the nature of enlightenment so now we are working for that this instance are delivered by the buddha there was a incidence as you know visaka is one of main lay helper made lay disciples of the buddha visaka who attained first stage of sainthood sotapanna and returned then 
one day visaka was inviting to buddha the buddha and the all the monks to her house uh, to offer dana because one of her granddaughter died to share merits with that granddaughter she performed that meritorious deeds somehow even though at the, the at the ceremony the buddha was there participating in the ceremony all with the, along with other monks she was very unhappy and she was crying the buddha had noticed it all other monks also then at the end of the dana during the discussions of dhamma sermons the buddha asked why you are crying then she replied venerable sir it is not easy to forget her still i have memories with her she is my grand daughter she lost her. she departed from us still that thoughts and memories all the uh, remembers things are there with us so we are suffering it is not easy to bear then the buddha said prema to jayati so ko yes that is true you are very loud to her your granddaughter there was a relationship as a grandmother and granddaughter you all are bondage in together bondage to together as grandma and daughter granddaughter this bondage is very powerful that much love is there in your side probably perhaps my her side also that bondage is not easy to forget still you have that thoughts what are the roots of that thoughts ignorance and greed there are so so many other grandchildren but you don't have any problem with that grandchildren you have only problem with your granddaughter this is the nature of this is the nature of greed if you don't have greed instead of grief if you are working with loving friendliness thoughts you can accept your granddaughter's death and you can share that thoughts with others others other little children like same same age in your granddaughter you don't have burial for that but you don't have any thoughts loving friendliness thoughts to share with them dear friends today is a very special day today is the children day in this day as as adults if we can have that kind of thoughts to accept all children as our children instead of developing our attachment if we can develop loving friendliness thoughts compassionate thoughts for all children in the world how would be this world it's beautiful that that kind of society would be very peaceful serene society no doubt about that all violation which is going against children we can reduce we can completely eliminate from our society what kind of problems we have as a human beings violating human rights or animal rights or any rights completely we can avoid all these situation if you have real loving friendliness thoughts compassionate thoughts sympathetic joy equanimity instead of at that attachment that attachment this is the word given by the buddha this is not my personal word so the buddha did not appreciate 
if you are developing bondages with your children because of love which is under greed would always appreciate if you can develop loving friendliness towards compassionate towards sympathetic joy and equanimity these four thoughts are working together it's connecting together you can reduce greed you can reduce your anger you can reduce your ignorance so if there is uh, if someone losing one grandson or daughter or your own son or daughter there is no reasons to worry because you have compassionate thoughts to all others who are in same age then there is no reasons to have fear there is no reasons to gain unhappy unsatisfactory thoughts in your mind see this is the difference with enlightened beings and mundane beings mundane beings also have love and compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity all these thoughts but they have bondages with that thoughts or oh, he is my husband he she is my wife this is my son this is my daughter this is my brother this is my sister this is my mother this is my father in this manner they have attachment but person who is developing loving friendliness thoughts with compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity with the wisdom that person does not have that kind of bondages making some boundaries they can break all the boundaries because of their thinking ability thinking ability so this is the way how we can spread peace around the around the world dear friends light in thousand candles floating candles on rivers no one can make peaceful society to have a peaceful situation in our environment we should change our thinking pattern we try to control our defilements and we try to eliminate our defilements from our mind this is our responsibility this is our duty as buddhist practitioner if we are not able to reduce our defilements whatever the things we do thinking of inner peace thinking to reduce your fear thinking to reduce your suffering is not happening why you are not in real path you we should be on real path to gain happiness if you are applying real method so definitely you can reach that destination if you are not following that path guidance then how you can get to that destination you are going to in different place different destination that is not your destination so therefore friends we have duty we have responsibility to be free from all affections that is our duty that is our responsibility all our practice are focusing on that whether you practice in generosity whether you practice in sila or meditation does not matter whatever the all these activities are focus on to get rid of affections attachment to get rid of your desire anger and hatred that is our goal that is our duty that is our responsibility we we are working on that addressing visaka the buddha said you lost your granddaughter you are still crying about her but if you can think about the other granddaughters who are in this city there are so many children in that age 
then you can share that love and tenderness thoughts with them you don't want to be worry about that only reason you have thoughts she is the the granddaughter who departed she is my granddaughter where is that bondage come that bondage come through your ignorance how you can prove she is exactly your granddaughter you can say or you can show some documents like a birth certificate something like that but all these are creation of human being that is not reality reality is not there so what we should do we should think about whole world as my children my brothers sisters my parents my grandchildren likewise then this world would be wonderful peaceful happy place for all human beings and also all other non humans too this is the way how we can make peaceful society dear friends we are working on that so these advices are very important for our life to think about ourselves and what is the way how we should change our thinking pattern without making boundaries be a wide person be a wide person who can think very deeply and widely don't narrow yourself be wide then you can get a solution for your fear and your sorrow lamentation all these unhappy unwholesome stages i think that would be enough for today uh, thank you very much for your participation uh, think about this moment we got a wonderful opportunity to practice uh, dhamma particularly to increase our spiritual development spirituality and uh, gaining uh, happiness which we which we call punya merits uh, through our practice during this time period we are full of merits so now it is time to share these merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of pass by the power of this merits that we accumulated may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration say sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may we all be well happy and peaceful may the, may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be, may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much